Welcome back. Craig is going to talk about setting up levels to handle AI navigation. There are two methods of setting up a level for navigation. For simplicity, this tutorial discusses navigation points, which are fixed points laid out by the level designer that act as waypoints for any bots in the level. Be aware there is another method of AI navigation called navigation mesh, where bots navigate based on automatically generated polygons. Guildhall students can find more information about navigation meshes at the link displayed on the screen. Basic UDK AI uses nav points to explore a level. Bots traverse the level by moving from way one waypoint to another until they reach their intended destination. Keep in mind that any geometry, walls, floors, ceilings, anything, or static meshes will block paths because nav points can only see other nav points that they have a direct line of sight with. This means that if you look to the right of the screen, this health pickup over here cannot be seen by any of the other nav points in the level. In order to let the AI bots get to this health pack, we need to add another nav point. To find the nav points, uh, open the content browser by clicking on it, clicking this icon in the toolbar, or pressing Control shift f Then select Actor Classes tab, and then Navigation. Right click in your level where you want the navigation point to be, then add actor, add path node. Now the AI will be able to get to this health pickup. Notice these two path nodes right here can see all of the same nav points, and one isn't special anyway, so the other is superfluous. You might as well take one of them and delete it. There are many special nav points, which we can look at in the generic browser again. Anytime there is a door, ladder, elevator, teleporter, basically any way that the AI can't simply walk to a location, you're going to need a special nav point. All of these can be found under the navigation uh, group in the actor classes. In addition, any pickups come with built-in nav points. Ammo, armor, health, weapons, anything. They all come with built-in points so you will not need to add an additional waypoint for them. Here you'll see a special door waypoint which tells the AI that this is a door which must be fired at before it can be opened. If it weren't for this nav point, the weapon spawn on the other side of the door would not connect to any of the meshes. Next, I'm also going to talk about Kismet and simple visual scripting. This here is the Kismet screen. This entire system right here is used to spawn an actor, an enemy AI, and then move him to a rocket launcher spawn, shoot the rocket launcher at that door we pointed at earlier, and then walk through it. It's, Kismet is very good for setting up simple, very specific actions, but anything more complicated or complex should probably be done in Uscript, since control and flow isn't exactly implemented as well as it could be in Kismet. To access anything, simply right-click on the background and choose from the list of new somethings you would like, for instance, the AI to use as hoverboard, go to New Action, Pawn, Use Hoverboard. On the left of any of these nodes is the input, and on the right is the output. So what causes it to start is on the left, and what it does afterwards is on the right. Anything on the bottom is what it is being used on, or being used for. It's basically any of the parameters that would be passed. Let's look at this start firing at node right here. When, when the actor in question, which is its target, it is a spawned bot from the actor factory, when it finishes moving to whatever this is moving to, happens to be a weapon pickup, it will fire at the door, which is this interpolating actor. 
and when it's done, it won't do anything. 